Hello, my name's Dave Ford and this is Logan the Whippet and we're out once again on a walk in the New Forest and today we're going to be doing a circular which is really is in the middle of nowhere but it's actually between Lyndhurst in the north and Bewley in the south. Now along the way we'll be coming across some lovely woodland and heathland and a few surprises as well. So do join us. Logan? Are you ready? He's ready. Let's go. Well, we're going to start the walk not far from the car park by the New Forest Pony sales yard, which is behind me. I'll just turn the camera around so you can have a good look. And this is where the New Forest commoners will come five or six times a year to buy and sell their ponies. Uh, a commoner, by the way, is someone who has a right to graze their land on the forest. And this is a very much a, a specially designed yard because what you have to remember is that New Forest ponies are feral animals and so that's why you've got this real rustic feel to it. There are no concrete or brick walls or iron railings and there's just sort of grass and gravel on the ground and so I said it, it, it's designed to make the whole process so that there's minimal handling and there's no stress for the ponies and of course that means it's less dangerous for the animals and handlers of course so you've got this unloading area so I'm standing on at the moment and then there's these various chutes that lead to the viewing pens and then there's a showing area and then in the far distance you can see the actual auction ring itself. Now the present site was built in, I'll say just after the Second World War, it was refurbished in 2002 and then really upgraded 2011-2012. Uh, I mean that's when Mains Water and drainage and, and electricity was put in for European regulations I expect but uh, as I say it's only used about five or six times a, a year so we will now have a little I was going to say have a wander around the area there's not a lot here if I pan round there's a tiny little station which we'll have a look at and a couple of houses a pub and a hotel and that's about it oh and the road that passes through but that's only a that's only a B road as well so let's go and have a look at the station well we've come to the top of the bridge that goes over the railway line and we've got a good view here of the pony sales yard which we've just had a look at and that gives you an idea as to how big it is and just alongside that's the railway line that goes to Lyndhurst. So let's just cross over the other side of the bridge and there on the left hand side you can see this sweet little station that was built in 1847 but not to serve the village of Bewley which is three and a half miles away it was built for Lord Montague as a personal station because it was his land that the railway line was built over. Not bad for a personal little station. Anyway, we're now going to head off onto some heathland and some forest, so we'll see you in a bit. Well, this is something that we weren't expecting. We're going to have to be a bit careful on our walk today. Pony Roundup in process. It's all part of the New Forest Drift where they round up all the ponies from time to time and herd them up and check them for health and what have you. So Logan will be on the lead at all times.
Well, we've just come across a large area of open heathland called Shatterford Bottom, and we're just about to head into Denny Wood. But before we do, I just want to um, pan the camera around to show you something. If you can see in the distance, I'm not sure if it'll it'll show, but it's something called Bishop's Dyke, and it's uh, basically an earthen bank and ditch. It's about four and a half miles long, four meters wide and a meter high and it encloses about 500 acres of, of land and the actual land that it encloses is called the Bishop of Winchester's Purlieu. A Purlieu is land once that was within the jurisdiction of the forest but no longer so. Now there is a, st <laughs> a story about the uh, the dyke the suggestions that in 12 84, the then Bishop of Winchester obtained the land from King Edward I and the amount of land that he was allowed to have was, and I quote, all the land that he could crawl around on hands and knees in one day. I don't know whether you believe that or not. There has been some further research that suggested that it was built a lot earlier than that in 1214. Again, it was for the then Bishop of Winchester uh, and it was used as a, a hunting ground, uh, a deer park basically, and that would make sense by having a, an enclosed earthen ditch. But uh, whatever the story. We're now, as I said, going to head into this wood where hopefully we're going to come across some really beautiful beech trees. It's one of the oldest uh, plantations of beech trees in the forest. I just hope it's not too spooky. I'm really enjoying this lovely little forest walk. Although it's the 1st of September, it's still quite a warm day, so it's quite nice to be in the shade. So we've got Denny Wood on my right, and then on my left it's still the Bishop of Winchester's Purlieu. I meant to say that the, uh, the Bishop no longer <laughs> owns the land it reverted back to the crown in 1944 but a really ancient part of the forest mixture of the very old oak and beech whoops I'll turn the camera around and we seem to have an obstruction Logan on our path I'm going to take a little detour what do you reckon? You gonna get over? I think we'll go around. Anyway, we'll carry on through here and we'll see you when we get out the other side. Well, as is the norm, no new forest walk would be complete without some new forest ponies. And it's what I love about this area that you can get within them, but not too close if you see what I mean and here we have pleasantly grazing underneath the trees you'll notice I may have mentioned in previous videos that uh, if she'll let me get close to her <laughs> wandering off you'll notice she's got a uh, a collar around her neck and that's um just for her own protection, if she's near the road at night time, it'll uh, reflect in a car's headlight. I say the only problem is that uh, we are designed to come off quite easily. They're only attached by Velcro uh, in case she ever catches it in a, a branch or anything. But uh, yeah, there's quite a few ponies enjoying. I think quite near a stream, so it's a good place to be. Well folks, I reckon I spent the last 10 or 15 minutes trying desperately to find the remains of an old charcoal burner's pit. And blow me if I can find it. 
I've got this guide and it gave some very explicit instructions right down to the exact path to go down and it ha I had to find a lone hawthorn tree and I found the, the hawthorn tree just there and apparently the pit is 20 meters to the side so I'm guessing this must be it. It is a slight indentation it's so difficult to see with the uh, with all the bracken but in the dim and distant past charcoal burning was quite a big industry in the forest obviously there's plenty of wood around and, and the basics behind the production is that they would dig out a pit put some wood into it set it alight and then cover it with soil and turf and basically it would burn slowly for days on end and that's how they'll produce the charcoal and charcoal was very useful because it, it burns at high temperatures and it was uh, very popular with blacksmiths and used for gunpowder because eventually it was overtaken by coke and coal and the industry died out in the 19th century but around these parts you do still find quite a few old charcoal burner pits although some are easier to find than others now I I'm pretty certain there's something that we'll be able to certainly see just a few yards away to my right. Let's go and have a look. Action. Well folks, I found a crater, a World War II crater, caused by a German parachute bomb, no less. I'll pan round so you can have a, a good look. Originally its target must have been the city of Southampton, a few miles to the east of here but whatever it was it was certainly a big big baby and uh, lovely to see the purple coming out for the heather this time of year really is quite beautiful okay so as Logan and I climb our way up out of here we're going to head into some more woodland. We've had Denny Lodge enclosure on our right but we're going to go into a much older enclosure in a second. Just passing through now a, a much smaller wooded enclosure called Woodfordley Passage. I think that's how you pronounce it. Lots of uh, really old oak trees here. Just pan round. Have a look at that love the shape some of these trees I wonder how old that one is talking about Woodfidley passage if that's how it is pronounced there's a very old saying that you don't often hear that often these days called Woodfidley rain and it basically means rain that lasts all day I'm pleased to say Everywhere is dry as a bone at the moment. Perfect, uh, perfect weather for walking on the forest. Well, folks, just back at the car now, we were getting to the end of our walk and we could hear a lot of shouting and hollering going on. We knew the new forest drift in this area was happening and sure enough, it shot by. I just managed to grab hold of my camera, switch it on and I just pointed. So I have no idea what the footage is like. It was very, very windy, so the audio not, might not be that great. But whatever I found, I'll show it to you now and it'll give you an, a rough idea of what it was like. I, I just was trying to concentrate to keep Logan close to me while it all happened. It was all rather exciting stuff. Okay, this, ladies and gentlemen, is what's known as the New Forest Drift. I apologize for the, if there's wind, but we're gonna get out we need to get out of the way. Wow. There's some more going on. So this is the roundup of ponies, it's, uh, 1st of September and I just managed to get the camera out to see that. I apologise for the wind, but 
there we go. A bit, bit of excitement that we weren't expecting. Oh. Wow. Well, folks, that's the end of our walk. And we've made our way back to the Drift Inn, enjoying some Ringwood Best. It's quite a, a dog-friendly pub as well. There's a, a special barrel of water, especially for our canine friends. We hope you enjoyed our walk today. It was certainly an exhilarating one, especially when we came head on with the New Forest Drift. That was quite, quite nerve-wracking. If you did enjoy the video, then please like, comment and subscribe. And do join us again for another walk in the forest at some time in the future. In the meantime, thanks for watching and cheerio. Folks, cheers mate. Oh, lovely.